thank you so much karibu karibu sana now allow me to do this in uh, in swahili because i'm trying to address the east african community uh, church <laughs> East Africa. I know I'm saying this because most of my audience are South Africans and West Africans. And uh, East Africa, I have a few audience, not much. But a lot of comments I want to do now, I've got them, I've gotten them from East Africa. Sasa Natak Wangia to Luga ya Swahili. Allow me to speak Swahili for the same because that's the dominant language here as much as we are so i'm coming back to english fully uh, in some few uh, episodes that are coming now tukiangalia hii hisia ya shughuli hizi zilizofanyika za alimkwana na rose muhando utakuja kugundua ya kwamba kuna mambo mingi sana mtu mwelevu amekaa chini anafaa kae chini ajifundishe na hii inanituma niwaambie kitu kimoja uh, wale especially pastors sana sana men of god uh, uh, na waimbaji uh, i've happened to be privileged nikakuwa na waimbaji wengi waimbaji wengi hao wamepobea to grow up na wao in some few aspects na pastors wengi na wao the same na kuna watu wengine pia tumekuwa na wao hapa na hapa i know hata vile naongea hapa saa hii kuna watu wananipa tulianza kupanga mkutano huu yeah. na mchungaji wengine watakuwa wanajua this guy is well equipped kuongea maneno haya they know na kuna wengine najua atasema wewe oh, ile but the realities ambao tutakuja kuona in this saga mm. ya uh, Rose Muhando na pia nilikuwa na mikutano mingine mitano ni exchange already imefika mbali sana na hii vita si saa zingine inaweza kuwa oh, watu wanakuja wanasameheana wanasameheana na bado wanaendelea vita chini ya maji sasa suluhisho ya vitu kama hizi ndio sisitukie mambo mengi sana ni nini ni grievances on the social media ukiangalia kuanzia ya kwanza mpaka siku za mwisho mwisho hapa watu bado wako vita they bitterly attack this subject from this angle sasa hii ndio maana nafanya hii video hii episode naifanya kwa sababu ya hii watu wengi wanaongea this point wanatoa waimbaji nje wakileta hapa na wanalipa pesa mingi lakini waimbaji wa hapa hawalipi chochote now it brings me to one spot ambao hata wewe unafaa kuwe conscious about kama wewe ni mchungaji unataka kufanya mega open meetings ama wewe ni mchungaji i've been privileged to arrange nimefanya <laughs> arrangements ya mikutano mingi sana behind scenes we ujui na kuna watu najua wanajua nini nasema nimefanya arrangements ya mikutano kubwa kubwa sana chini ya maji mimi nikiwa sionekani kabisa but inakuja in a way iko set so naongea from a point of experience kwa watu wote ambao wanajaribu kunisikiza hapa wewe kama ni pasta uko na vision ya kufanya mambo makubwa inaokuja in ministry or in anything to do with evangelism and outreach train your own people Ah watu wengi unaona wakibobea hapa nje walitreniwa na watu wao na kanisa zao na pastors wao wale walikuwa wamewachukulia wakawaweka hapo siongei about artists wale wanafanya vending eh, is different eh, kuna artist vendors yeye hata aendagi church kuna artists waendagi kanisa unaona kuna artists wao kitu wako nayo ni hiyo cd hata pia hawawezi imba live unashika kuna artist hawezi hata imba live waambia haleluya amen ndio huyu sasa chukua microphone in the next 10 minutes mtakuwa mnashindwa huyu ni nini sasa anafanya kuna wale hawawezi yani they don't know and then kuna wale wametoka kwa altar kwa service then akasema ah i've been blessing people watu ndio wanawa approach wanaambia record album tutakupromote unaona there's a very big difference now kuna how sasa wewe kama pastor lazima ujue wewe kama muimbaji lazima ujue ya kwamba kuna ile ministry 
na kuna ile business of which it's very ideal both sides kuna the artist singer and kuna a worshipper so hiyo inanpatia one factor ambao music inakuwa subdivided into categorized into two faces and two frames it becomes an art and at the same time it becomes a science wakati unakuja kuanza kufanya streaming na training you must be skilled and that's the art part of it you must be very influential spiritually when you minister and that's the science side of it your spiritual life should be sound your skills should be up to date so hii story mnakujaga usema oh sasa mimi nataka kuimba sikia tu maneno message na usisikie sauti mimi kwangu huwezi fanya hiyo huwezi huwezi fanya hiyo lazima ukue gifted kwanza uwe na hiyo talent na ikuwe very much polished we polish moja kwa moja polish once and a while sasa problem ya churches zingine pastors hawataki kupolish watu wao at watatoka kanisa yes kuna pastors hawezi train watu wao mimi ndio nianze kucheza keyboard kuna mtu alilipwa Ya yeah, kuna mtu alilipwa tu kabisa kabisa alilipwa akaambiwa wewe we will pay you so you start training this boy i was very young you start training this boy how to play na nalipwa na nalipwa tukienda na yeye hapo analipwa nikiwa hapo so i would be very sober this thing is paid for so i have to maximize the time maximize the opportunity at that moment Now that's why even us when we, we associate with you those who have associated with you you know what I'm talking about we build you wewe utuuze utuuze kama utauza tenda wema sisi tunaenda zetu wewe utuuze tu that's how we work in our side so wewe personally in your area of operation as a trainee work on yourself is called personal development kuna vitu hautafanywa na pasta yako. Kuna vitu utaendaga kama kucheza, ukitaka kuimba. There's there, there are things you wake uh, weka kwa masikio. Kuna waimbaji wengi najua wanakuwa na earphone. Na kuna time nyingine utafikiria ni wazimu because wako na earphone, wako na headphone hata kwa barabara. Wanasikia music, wanataka ku minister this song in one month coming time. You can't worship effectively a song you don't know. Fanya mazoezi yako kwa private. That's an artist. Na on the other side, a man of God who covers you anakupatia opportunities zile ziko available. Now, hapa ndio mali inanirudisha back to Bishop Pius Mwiru. Bishop Pius Mwiru is one man. I want to tell you this na sionge hii ni furaisha mtu because i've been there as kufanya chochote in public to this level he participated very much he did participate now one thing i really want to take this is why i'm giving the example with him check back check back nataka turudi 1980s ikienda mpaka 90s alafu tukuje from 90s now to 2000s and this much when he was actively involved in managing maximum miracle center actively kuna part sa hii administration iko side tofauti na saa hii bishop pius mwiru mwenyewe major artists wale unasikia wana progress in this nation kenya saa hii came out from his hands hiyo ni kitu moja najua and we, we have a lot of evidence in this one now i'm doing this video mentioning this his name because is the best example position to do this sasa unakuta waimbaji kama wote waimbaji masi wa irigi unaangalia hata Esther Wahome before is like okay i will do one episode one time about Esther Wahome kitu ilifanya ashuke eh, fame yake ishuke i will do it just some one time coming eh, is another private thing so Esther Wahome Sarake <laughs> E machichi yu unaona 
emachichi and uh, among others tak kutaja wengi eh, wengi ambao wanakaa bishop pius mwiru raised teams raised singers billy frank bishop pius mwiru raised these people all these people uh, akina producer uh, uh, producer ile ali ali pass naitwaje i'll give you the name later on and uh, uh, our wengine walitoka wakaenda kwa ministries zingine wakaenda kwa ministries zingine so mkaanza kuwasikia wakiwa huko but originally they came out from here hata pastors hata pastors but then one thing ambao nataka mjue hata maximum miracle center hakunaga siku ya rehearsal There is morning glory, lunch hour, evening service. Morning glory, lunch hour, evening service. Na maximum miracle center kuna band karibu ine. Full four teams. Specific teams. Guitarist, bass guitarist, lead guitarist, saxophonist, um, um, you get drumist and soloist of a certain group. One. The same of a certain group two the same of a certain group three same group four hata na kuna marisava <laughs> so muna muna munafikiria bishop pius mwiru's church maximum miracle center iko tu na music for nothing he serves his team he puts his team in order na hata hawa waimbaji unaona wakiimba hapo maximum miracle center Wengine wanataka tu wape opportunity ya kuimba hapo. Kufanya tu kuimba hapo. Na one of the reasons kwa nini nasema hii, hata wao waliobobea kabisa waliobobea unasikia wamebobea kule, wamebobea huko, wamebobea kila mahali au waimbaji wote wanaalikwa wa hapo. 90% ni wale wali grow hapa hapo. Sasa wanaitwa kukuja except wale walikuwa mbali. I can tell you that. And then some of them Pastor Andrew anachukua anapeleka kwa studio pale hapo ndani. Sitaki ku please everybody I'm just talking what is on the ground the reality of the matter. Sasa ukiona Maximum Miracle Center iko na waimbaji. Na iko na uzito kwa kuimba. Eh yeah, ni mara kwa kuimba. Unafikiria ilianza tu hivyo. And then they also invested in sound from beginning because of the vision wako nayo ya crusades na kila kitu. Sasa wewe ni pasta, unataka kukuja outdoor kufanya crusade. And then hauna waimbaji. Una utegemea mmoja. Me I can tell you where we are in different places. Mimi nikienda crusade, nikitaka kufanya crusade as 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 medium as our church is kanisa yetu si kubwa lakini medium tu unaona vizuri sisi vile tuko tunachukua watu tano peke yake tunaenda nao outdoor waimbaji you will know there is god in that music team because hakuna mchezo kanisa kwetu we invest in praise and worship team Unakuja, wanakaa ni watu hawajajiweza sana but then you can see you can see gift developed you can see grace developed you can see so many of these things developed in points of easy vitus naweza fanyika invest in your present worship team and then another thing i want you to understand that at a maximum miracle center they are paid they are on payroll na csm muende huko ndio sasa muende mlipwe they are on payroll so msione tu a watu wanapopea i'm using that example to bring in this problem ya rose mwando na ali mkwana mujue you have to invest in your team bishop kweli mwenyewe analipaga hao watu on token not on salary on token you have served very well god bless you on token they pay you get nendeni mkule lunch ndio unaona wakienda crusade wanabeba team mzima they invested in that ministry thing najua kuna levels watu wanapita hapa na pale hapa na pale you have to know this one also 
na ukiangalia ministries kama Squan, uangalia ministries kama Winners Chapel, uangalia ministries kubwa kubwa kama Amazing Grace, angalia ministries hizo mzito mzito zile ambao ziko na very consistent good praise and worship backups. Na hata structures mzuri imewekwa. Unajua? Nganga, Apostle Nganga, he pay his team, he invest in them. Alafu he is also part of praise and worship team. Bishop Pius Mwilo sing by himself. Evangelist Ezekiel, you see what he does. He sing peke yake. Na watu team iko hapo. Kuna watu wako hapo 24 hours and they are prayer warriors. So hakuna excuse ya kusema oh let's invite pastor mwingine. And then mwingine na yeye anakuja na ivat mwingine. Now there's also another pastor in Kitui called uh, Bishop Charles M Charles Musili. He also discovered that he invested in that music. I know also House of Grace. You know, uh, when I mention names I'm not talking about uh, consistency in a uh, dini ya kusema majina ya makanisa. These are just name brackets, but if you see how God serve, uh, people serve God in those areas, you admire what is called getting orderly service in training. And they are training. They train people there and they talk to people there. Now, where uko hapo? Where uko hapo? Unataka tu kanisa inuke ukwe na experts ya kuimba overnight. Ukikuta mmoja bana za imba kama huja train kuna mtu wa memtrain somewhere akakuja hapo kwako. So there is also a possibility you won't maintain them there. Because they have to be maintained. They have to be nurtured. They have to be talked to about them. So man of God, mimi na kuongelesha tu. No, people are different. Mtu kama mimi, I can live hapa, niende ata Uganda, niende ata Tanzania, na mikono tupu hivi. Na nifungue ministry there. Na ishike. You, I can start anywhere. Na mchungaji yote. That's why you hear me talk with another confidence. Watu wengi wanaonaga na toa hapi. Because some people want to just get results. Pam. Hapo. Ukienda uko. You take few people you start developing. Na hiyo ndio kitu tunafanyaga. Me I develop people. Watu wale tuko nao kwangu. Hata nyumbani usha go. Hata hapa kwangu mahali naishi. Naishi na watu. Wengine hata sijui kwao. So, most of the times, nikienda in a new town. The first thing I do, I make sure if we have to do um, training of a team to map for church planting, the first thing you have to do is to make sure you have a worship team and intercessory team. These two people. Hakuna siku tayo na kuwa na hafla na hashla zivitu vingine za kuklashu kuna uku. Hauta kuwa na yo. You need to have a, 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 a heart that has burden for others that are coming behind. Kuna watu anakujaga hata kuimba na wana chakula. Wajakula two days. Anakuja mungu amesema wacha niende ni mtumikia. Atafungua njia leo. Pastor, you as a man of God, you should know that. Uya mekuja leo ajakula. Sia ya kwa bie, you should know. So this is when you now in, 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 engage the prophetic ministry in you. Prophetic ministry is not just coming out. Na uwaze kusema, oh, baba amesema, mungu amesema. Now, I'm saying this with one virtue of a... Um, the Bungoma incidents ya Ali Mkwana na kuleta Shida na Rose Muhando. Ata paali alikuwa mehostiwa Rose Muhando huko. Bado ukiangalia kukona loopholes za misrepresentation. Because that person now anachukua Rose Muhando kama one of the present worship leaders wake. So ana move. Anafaa kue na muimbaji mmoja hapo ambao ana move now crusade one, crusade two. Crusade 3, Crusade 4, Crusade 5, Crusade 6. Ningumu sana ukute eh, eh, waimbaji eh, kanisi kuna praise and worship mzuri. Ina, ina move around. Crusades nyingi unaona wanaenda hapa, wanaenda hapa. Utakuta hata kama kuna celebrity ndani yao, wezi jua ni celebrity. Utakuta ni member hapo. 
And that's one thing we should take for granted. Now, the teams ambayo inafaa kuwa ina train. Wacha tu uh, tusome hapo kidogo tu tuangalie. Team ile inafaa kuwa ina train watu. Wanafaa wakuwe na training kwa tofauti ya yeah, kuona. Na this is one thing ambayo inakaa ina challenge watu wengi. Na hii training ambayo ina challenge watu wengi. Najua watu wengi wa wapendi. Wapendi kabisa. Sasa, kuna coach wa kutrain. The body of Christ in Kenya should learn this thing. This will give you a long term results. Popote pale ukienda. Nataka kila pastor na worship team leaders wakuje fanye vitu za maana. Na hivyo fea ya kutumia watu kwa Rose Muando kama Rose Muando unatumia kama mwingine juu ni expert kwa njia moja ama nyingine utapungua. Now, kuna worship teams uh, coaches invest in these people. Hmm? Badala ya kwenda kuhaya watu wa kukuja kuimba, invest in a coach wa kutrain team. Invest in the coaches ya kutrain team. Na, kuna coaches wa kuvocal na skill coach. Sasa, hawa ni watu tu wa kutrain ya kufundisha kuimba peke yake. The skill, the instruments, the vocal ranges. How? When to use a microphone and how to use it. Kuna mtu anaweza kuwa mwimbaji mzuri na ajui kubeba mic anaiweka hapa. Range. Kuna mtu akichukua microphone. Unajua ukitumia lapel mic kama hii. Mtofauti sana na ukitumia mic kama hii. Kuna mic unatumia ukiweka hapa iko hapo. Vocal range na vocal strength sana sana ukitumia you will see the difference. I'm a singer, I sing. Ya yeah, sing, I sing, I sing kabisa. Yaani hiyo si ya kubahatisha mimi mwimbaji kabla ni kuwe pastor I've been a singer. Hata sasa hivi bado naimbaga. Uh, I sing, I sing. There it's not a talent, it's a gift developed. Mpaka saa hii kuna hata mahali nikishaanza kuimba unaona difference unaona tu immediately sasa hiyo. So I'm talking on a ground I najua. Technique ya kutumia microphone. So invest in coaches. Kuna mic mzuri, kuna mic mbaya. Zote ukichanganya zote ukianza kutumia unaona difference. The range. Kuna mic ya kushikiliwa hapa. Ukiweka hapa umeharibu sound. And these people also coordinate with the sound men. So wanajua ongeza mic number 4, ongeza mic number 2. Mic number 3 weka echo kidogo toa. Kama juzi nilikuwa na niko live hapa na somebody text me uh, aka comment akasema your echo is so high. And then technician tulikuwa na hapa mmoja aka reduce akamalizana na hata saa hii unaona anajua we read comment somehow hata saa hii ukiwa na comment ya maana tuandikie hapo itatusaidia kufanya adjustments zingine na vitu vingine kama tumeongea hii point ikiwa mzuri na wewe nenda pale comment section just comment tuambie what you see what do you think about this go there to the comment section to discuss hii kitu ongea na sisi hapo na tuendelee now sound pia inaweza haribu impact ya uimbaji wrong sound utakuta wrong results na ni mbaya sound kisha haribika ni hivyo mtu ana struggle sasa wakati mtu ame struggle the 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 the, 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 the unction ndani yake inaanza kukuwa frustrated ndio nasikia mtu sasa ana anointing Anointing can flow through sound. So, pastors na waongozi wengine ambao hataki ku invest in sound. Utakuwa na dharau wa imbaji wako kila siku. Siku ya crusade mnaenda mna haya sound kubwa kabisa. Kubwa kabisa. Alafu mnaenda muite wale wamepopea wakuje kutumia hizo sound. Wati kue privilege ya watu wako wako hapa. Wapate kuwa na hiyo privilege. Pia wao kutumia sound kubia. Sound kubwa iko na impact tofauti kwa muimbaji. Wacha audience kwa muimbaji. Ndio utajua huyo muimbaji unaekaga bench kila siku. Kuna gift ako nayo kubwa na wewe hata una. Hata yeye pia hana. Invest kwa sound. Mtu akisema haleluya, feedback peke yake inayokuja kwake. 
the monitor inarudi kwake anasikia ni kama that's a different person invest kwa sound mchungaji invest kwa sound si ala anasema gato kicheza siji ndienda kan zingine na wanasema oh that is sound si hakuna mungu ana dwell na vessel okay yesu akutumia sound wewe unatumia kwa nini na hata kuna possibility na angalia polepole pole, pole naonaka ni kama Yesu kuna vile alikuwa anatumia tekniki ya sound fulani. Because kuongea na watu 1500 utaongea nao aje unahubiria aje in a way. Na walisemekana 1500 ni wanaume na walikuwa na hesabu wanaume na wanawake hawameachwa. So 1015 how can you talk effectively mpaka mtu huko chini anaelewa? So there must have been a technique vile walikuwa natumia hiyo. Hata saa hii kama ni sound sasa hii uwezi fungua kanisa bila sound. Hata kama uko na anointing, utaanza kufanya some other ways of evangelism. But when you don't have sound, there is a capacity of limitation umewekewa. Na hapo inafaa ujue hivyo as much as it is. Kila mahali lazima ujue. Everything lazima ujue inafanyika. Sound yako lazima ikuwe sound ambayo iko ya maana kila mahali ambao unaenda very important very important ndio nana sai hata sai mtu ambao unaweza kuona you cannot control a musician au ja invest into invest into these musicians invest angalia makanisa kama hizo kubwa kubwa kama hizo za TB Joshua kuna watu wanaishi hapo wamepewa paka nyumba ya kuishi they are, they are invested Angalia ndio unaona Prophet Alan Jomba saa hii anapenya sana kwa sababu gani they have invested in their staffing I love administration yake iko so so smart imewekwa in a point inajulikana how it's moving That's one thing We have a lot of things we deal with in different frames of life mm, in different frames of life So ukitaka ubobe crusade is about the outreach what people see is what they talk about is what influence them what are you investing in unakuta pastor ananunua tu gari kubwa ni mzuri of course ni biashara amefanya but then kanisa yake haina hata guitar it's wrong <laughs> it's wrong it's wrong Alaba nataka testimony. Kuna mtu anasikia tu microphone inasema haleluya, kuna pepo inatoka. Na si ati ni pepo imeambiwa itoke. Imesikia sound. <laughs> eh, we have experienced them. Kuna sound inatoa pepo. Haleluya! Kichwa ya mgoroki inakuja nomo. Kuna zingine inatakana hivyo. Kuna drum tu kipiga tiki 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 someone inakuja different. Hallelujah bang hallelujah bang. if you don't have someone who knows how to do it alafu ingine pastor wachia watu wakue exposed who confine watu in one space they are limited because kuna vitu vingine wanafaa kwa wanafanya na hawajui sasa wewe umewa limit hapo hawezi kufanya chochote kama wewe huko avane you need to understand that everything unaona inaelea imeundwa you must invest At part of kungoja mungu ni kukua very busy doing what your part needs to be do your part wachia mungu afanye part yake we fanya part yako shasikia bana we fanya part yako mungu afanye yake we unataka kufanya vitu za hapa Nusu nusu alafu na expect Mungu akuje. Hapana. Fanya vitu jinsi Mungu anahitaji ifanywe. Utaona breakthroughs mingi sana. Utaona a lot of things that will work out to your favor in many times. After all, kitu najaribu kusema kuwa na uwezo wa kuchanganya kila kitu kinafanyika juu ya maisha Uwezi weka watu wakiwa tu hapo. Chararan, chararan, chararan. Kuna watu wengine hata fair kukuja service sana. 
Na huyo ndio mtu ambao unategemea kila mara. Akuje aimbe kwa Crusade. Crusade ni kilomita kama 20, ana atafea kukuja, anakuja mguu, anaenda, anarudi mguu. Sikatai. Kuna wale wanafaa kuestablishiwa. Kuna watu wengine mchungaji hata unafaa ununulie capital ya biashara uwapatie capital ya biashara e, kuna watu hata inafaa walipie mpaka rent ya nyumba zao kuna watu lazima that's why ukiwa pasta na uko stingi you just have a short while hautaenda Au, bali ukiwa pasta na uko stingi hauendi mbali i'm telling you lazima ukue mtu liberal unaweza toa tomoka hii ndi unasikia hata giving in your church depends directly on how you deal with the givers siku ingina hato kiangalia watu wawili watatu wakonjaa in prom to juwezi nunulia watu kumi lunch kwa hoteli pika hapa kwa ofisi yako pika hapo Nafu ambia watu kujeni tukule. Na wewe ukiwa part of it. Your attitude reflects in your worship team directly. Life yako reflects in the worship team. Direct reflection. So to speak. Naiko hivyo. Mungu wakubariki sana. Mimi ni Timothy Profitable. Apostle of Christ. I'm a church planter. So I'm talking from personal experience. I'm a church planter. Na I plant churches. Na I plant churches. Now the last time kabla tumalizie. Ni spiritual etiquettes. So lazimu kue na a coach in church. Na ukipata yule ambaya na zafanya coaching. Ya team skills. And vocal. Na kue mutu ako spiritually sound. Na anajua ministry ethics. Uyo mutu you need to never let go anywhere. Invest heavily, even in him. Sasa, anafundisha watu waombe. At times, some coaches have polished both dimensions. Wanajikuta wako yote, mbili. Wanaeza fundisha watu spiritual etiquettes. Wanaeza ufundisha etiquettes za ministry, ethics. Wanaeza fundisha perspectives of worship, how to reach God. Ndiyo nanaga kanisa zingine mba azina very good coach. Wakiimba, unaona ata nyimbo wanaimba. Ziko very different from the theme of the summer. In a conflict. Pastor nakuja na ambia watu. Usherati ni mbaya. And then muimbaja nakuja. Halo, halo. Na wana clash. Themes zina clash. The worshiper should understand the theme of the service. Akisha maliza the theme of the service. Anafaa kwe anajua. What to do and what to stand by. Unona hata vitu nafanya hapa. Mimi niko na maikaribu tatu wamba nafanya na ushuguli nafanya hapa. Niko na cordless mic. Na semi kwa ukubost. Niko na hii cordless microphone. Na heza tumia. Nikitaka. Na heza toa hii nifanya. Sasa kwa rakati ingine nikitaka kusimama. I can talk just here. Na ni present worship. Kuna time tutatukua na present worship. Na natukue na hapa. Tuonge nao. They tell us about how the worship can move on and then things are kuna time tunakuja tu tunaimba na tunaenda and then muna sikia, muna onda muna eka max and God set its peace in your life mungu wabariki sana this time round, mtakuja mara kwa mara tuonge mambo ya worship team and tuonge mambo ya service tuonge mambo ngine as continue life on here and there and let's see what God does in our life. Mungu wakubariki sana. Mungu awapatie neema zaidi na zaidi. God bless you.